Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is Lucy, and I'm going to be making a tutorial for the Godskin Noble skip in Volcano Manor. Uh, this is an extremely useful skip if you're doing speedruns or even casual playthroughs as one. This allows you to get the Serpent Hunter, which is arguably one of the greatest weapons in the game right now, or the best weapons in the game right now. Uh, used in both speedruns and for casual playthroughs uh, if you're just looking to have kind of a busted build or whatever. Um, even no hit runs uh, can benefit from this. Uh, it is somewhat controversial as to whether or not it's a glitch. I'll let you decide that for yourself. I'm just going to be teaching you it uh, and walking you through it. Uh, so yeah, like I said, this is for the Godskin Noble in Volcano Manor. You can skip straight to Rikard, basically. So within the first, you know, eight minutes of the game, you can be at Rikard, at a great rune. Uh, and it's just super helpful. So uh, a few things to note about some things I'm going to be using during this. Uh, first off, I, I don't know if it's going to show up on the stream, but I have John's practice tool, uh, which is super helpful because you can, for instance, I can save my position here and load it. So for practicing, it's super helpful. So if you're a speedrunner or no hit runner, I will leave a link to that in the description below, as well as John's Twitch. Uh, so please go check him out. Um, also, if you're speedrunning or no hit running, there's also going to be the save, uh, Speed Soul save organizer links below which just allows you to manage your saves. So you can keep a save file here so you can come back and practice it at any point. Uh, okay, so a few questions I get when I do this is one, how am I doing this? How am I blocking with my fist? And you just two hand your, two hand your fist. Uh, I don't need to do it for this, but I do it. And I'm people ask me all the time uh, how I do it. Uh, so let's walk through the, the skip itself. So right here, this is the actual arena. If you go to the left, you will find these pillars and our objective right now is going to be to jump around this pillar in the next pillar which is a little bit difficult but uh, a good way to kind of like visualize this or as a concept is to use this pillar for practice at least that's what I do so if you're trying to think of ourselves trying to jump around this you'll notice that's a little bit difficult uh, if we just try to go for like a little strafe jump <coughs> because our character can't change directions in midair or at least not to a noticeable extent so what we can do is actually melee or punch uh, and you don't need to have fists you can do it with something like a club or whatever but while we're in midair if we melee you'll notice we can actually change our direction midair so that's what we're going to be doing we're going to basically be punching around the pillar so the way i like to set this up is i like to walk up against the pillar or sprint rather and slowly veer left like that and once i kind of get close to the edge i will jump and melee just like that and then the goal here is going to be and do the punch uh, quite early, actually. You want to do it a lot earlier than you, you imagine. So, and that quit out, by the way, was done with the practice tool as well. So, let's do this for realsies. Just like that. And we're going to do the same thing here. Okay. And it's really not that difficult. If you do fail, um, like I did, you can A, quit out. Or B, sometimes you'll land. Uh, you can see my mouse cursor here. You can land on these little things. Uh, you can work your way back and actually land back over there by the staircase. So it, it is salvageable if you do fuck up. Okay, and then this is the wall. Uh, quite figuratively and literally, this is the wall for a lot of people. Um, first thing is I'm going to teach you how to buffer a sprint. And there's a few ways to do this, one of which is by using Torrent's whistle. So you can whistle, and you'll notice right after I whistle, I can sprint straight away. And all I'm doing is while I'm in that butt scratch animation, I'm holding the sprint button. Um, so you'll, I'm going to hold sprint and you'll see it cue to back step up as soon as it was available. Uh, this, the other way I can do it, and this is the way I prefer to do it is by pressing start. So if I press start and then I hold circle or B if you're on Xbox, um, you'll notice it cancels me out of the start screen. But as long as I continue holding it, when I press it, when I move my left stick forward, I'm sprinting. So instead of having this build up to a sprint. I can sprint directly away. Okay, so now for the wall. So this wall over here, um, right above my head right here, and this won't show it too well, but you can kind of see um, right above my head, there's actually a platform we can land on. And above that, there's another platform. So our objective is going to be landing right about here. And the way I like to do this is kind of walk over here and jump and slowly veer left while I'm in the air. So kind of like that. And you want to be spamming the jump button once you land on this because you can kind of slide off and we're basically just going to be jumping onto the platform right above it <coughs> so it'll be something like this and you'll notice i'm going to slide off here because once you land on this you really want to like angle yourself into the wall 
to start walking in this direction. So we jump on this one. I, I keep spamming the jump button. I kind of angle myself into the wall. And now using the compass at the top, you'll notice this diamond. Um, I will be putting this in the middle of north and east like this. And then I will be slowly moving my character forward. Just a little bit. Something like that. I will then look to the right and put that same diamond in between east and south. Okay, I don't have quite enough height right now, but that's okay. I'll probably mess it up here. Um, and then I'm going to buffer that sprint, and I like to block, although you don't need to. And we're going to be running directly left for a very short amount of time, moving our analog stick straight forward, and then jumping immediately. So it's going to be left, straight, jump. And you want to make sure you don't curve your analog stick. When you're, when you're jumping left, when you're running left and then you're flicking forward, you don't want to, like, curve it. You want to make sure that you go left and forward, like that. So, jump, jump, northeast, we're going to move forward just a little bit, east and south, buffer that sprint, I block, although you don't need to, hard left and forward, just like that. Um, and towards the end, I do like to move my character kind of left to make sure I land on this. Uh, if you do land on this, you can actually just jump straight up like this. Don't try to jump left like I did. You want to jump straight towards that wall. Uh, otherwise, you could possibly slide out. So again, northeast, just tap it a few times, east south, hard left, straight forward, and you're up. The biggest problem that a lot of people make is either A, when they are jumping here, they don't go hard left and straight, they curve it like I said, and if you curve it, it it's not always going to work. Uh, the other mistake a lot of people make is they run left too long. So I'll try to show that. If you, if you run left too long, it can be a little bit awkward. You can still do it, but um, I prefer just doing like a quick flick left and the quick flicks forward. But yeah, that is the Godskin Noble skip. Uh, doing that will take you out over here, right to the other side of the arena. And we can go ahead and just run straight to Serpent Hunter or Rykard. And yeah, I hope this uh, was helpful to you guys. Um, if you'd like, you can go ahead and check me out on Twitch, where I do speedruns, uh, as well as, you know, subscribe to the channel for more. I plan to make more tutorials for some skips and bosses and things like that. So, yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful.